Greetings and welcome back. Welcome back. We'll be going for the Tekken Bowl trophy for this one. I'll be having to play against a CPU. So for this trophy in regards of Tekken Bowl, you have to perform 20 devilish <clears throat> bowl hits or something. That's pretty cool. Ooh, the stage looks cool. And just some sound effects. That's pretty classic. Let's go with the... Uh, I'm actually going to go with the Azazel Ball. Like fall damage. I don't know what that means, but we're just going to have it set at Get 100. ready for the next battle. <laughs> <coughs> now let's learn how this works. Tekken Bowl rules. <coughs> In Tekken Bowl, hit the ball into your opponent's side of the court, or the opponent themselves. Deal damage to them, reduce your opponent's health to zero to win. You cannot deal damage to your opponent by directly attacking them. So keep your eyes on the ball. The behaviour of some moves like throws and rage arts will differ in this mode. Second ball rule. Hit the ball with a strong move and it'll go flying towards your opponent as an attack ball. Your opponents will take damage if they are hit. You can deflect an attack ball by hitting it with a move of your own or blocking against it. Be careful though, as you will take a small amount of damage when blocking. The power gauge shows how much damage an attack ball will do. Power will build up every time the ball gets hit by a move. The fuller the power gauge, the more damage dealt when it hits a player. The power gauge persists until the ball hits a player or lands on the court. Round one. <coughs> Alright, so... <coughs> Alright, so how do I do the trophy? I didn't, didn't mention nothing about it. <coughs> <laughs> or do I just have to hit them 20 times? I'm not sure. Wait a sec. Devilish. Do I need to actually play as... Jin? I don't know. I'm gonna play as Devil Jin. <laughs> I don't know if that's what we gotta do. Get ready for but the next battle. <coughs> we're gonna try. Round one. It's been. It didn't exactly give us. Any uh, specific here. So it's hard to say. Maybe it'll just pop up. Maybe it's a specific move? I don't know. any specifics on how this goes. Maybe, maybe it's that? Like getting like a heat one? Not incredibly short. Not entirely short. Let's just see if we can figure it out. Oh. 
round one. <coughs> Fight. So we're gonna take a quick look. So the trophy is here. So this is the one we're going for. Performed 20 devilish hits in Tekken Bowl. That um doesn't exactly make things quite clear. 20 devilish hits. Um, play advanced. Attack bowl conditions. Landing a low, mid or high attacks on a bowl turns it into an attack bowl. However, weak, high or low attacks will not result in an attack bowl. Also, hitting the bowl with an unblockable attack while the power gauge has no charge will not inflict damage on the opponent. <laughs> Hit the bowl with certain moves to give it a devilish effect. Use a power crush for a fast bowl, a homing move for a zigzag bowl, a, and a tornado move for a tornado bowl. Heat smashes and rage arts will activate a random devilish effect, making it extremely hard for your opponent to deflect. You can toss the ball by performing a throw with inputs like square and X together or triangle and circle together. On an attack ball, hitting a toss ball with a move will give it a random powerful devilish effect, boosting the ball's speed and damage. It's a bit of a technical move, so give it a try once you've become comfortable with the basics first. <clears throat> Grounding the ball on the opponent's side of the court will afflict damage on them. There is, however, a safe area that extends 2 metres from either side of the centre line. No damage is dealt when the ball falls into this zone. <laughs> Just like in battle, you can back dash with left left, press left left to perform a long back dash to cover more distance or to retreat quickly, perfect for when the ball goes long. It is possible to slow the ball down by cancelling a heat burst, letting you return the ball safely or hit it with a powerful move of your own. Hitting the ball with a heat engager and performing a heat dash will also slow it down, giving you the chance to smash it with a powerful move for huge damage. When you're in a tight spot, your health gauge and character will glow red, putting you in a rage state. This will boost your attack strength and lets you activate rage burst with the R2 button. It boasts a wide attack range and triggers a random devilish effect. When it hits the ball, the high attack power of this move can be used for an easy comeback, but it takes you out of rage, so use it with caution. Okay, so we are actually already activating uh, devilish hit. So with that, with with that kick and everything, how it's doing the zigzag, that counts as as a devilish. So just get a couple more of those and we'll be done. So, so it's pretty simple. As long as it starts turning flaming, I believe that counts as a, as a devilish. <coughs> if I've read and understood what it just explained properly, then, you know, let's just give it a shot and wait for it to pop. Another one. Bob. It's close. Yeah, I messed that one up. Oh, nice. Go, Jin. Oh. Straight up. Oh, nice. My moves are way faster than yours. And there you have it. What a way to finish it off. And that is how you obtain the trophy for Tekken Bowl. It's quite simple actually. Once I actually went and read the advanced segment, it actually made it much easier to understand. Well, only five trophies left and then we're platinum. 
thank you so much for joining, and I will see you in the finale for Tekken 8. See you later.